Right. So Michael, uh, Michael asks, uh, will life expectancy increase for the upper middle class and wealthy while the working class dies younger uh, due to addiction and suicide? If you have no future and live in the middle of nowhere, what is the desire to live? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's a, a big pattern of what we're seeing. We're seeing people who, who, uh, uh, who are poorer, uh, but also who, 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 don't, who haven't established a purpose in life. I think it has more to do with values. I think people who tend to be middle class, upper middle class and wealthy tend to have more purpose and tend to have a career and tend to have goals and tend to have a, a, a much more uh, mission in life and, and therefore have a lot more self-respect and self-esteem that drives uh, the, 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 the longer life expectancy. Uh, but it does look like there's a pattern in the United States where middle, upper middle class and wealthy are living longer, quite a bit longer, and, and, um, and working class and, and, and the poor and you know, whether that's in Mississippi or the Appalachian, are, 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 living, are living shorter lives and, and, and don't have a desire to live. But the way you frame the question, Michael, you frame it as, as if they're passive about this. As I've always said, they can get in the car and they can drive to northeast uh, Arkansas with their jobs. They can uh, enroll in a training program. They can switch jobs. They can do work. They can... Uh, they, they, they can they can go run every morning and, um, and, and get into better shape. They can drop the alcohol habit. They can drop the, 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 the drug habit. This is all, all of this is not determined. This is uh, within the scope of people's free will. But the challenge is that we live in a, in a culture that tells them that they have no chance. It tells them uh, that uh, they shouldn't try. It tells them that they will be taken care of by the state. Uh, it tells them that, that, you know, whatever, whatever their health problems or however obese they are or whatever, that's okay. You know, don't, don't talk about, you know, shame fatting or whatever it's called. Um, and, 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 I think, and I think it's wrong to shame people for being fat and certainly without knowing what's causing it. But it's also not wrong to identify a, an ideal in terms of health and to encourage people to be healthy, right? To be healthy. And, uh, but, but that, that suggests a standard that suggests that health is a standard and, and people don't, you know, certain people don't like that. But, um, but yeah, it's, it is, it is, um, there is a lot of, there's, this has to do with self-esteem and this has to do with self-confidence and this has to do with with the view of oneself, and this has to do with values, and in a in a world that doesn't doesn't really, uh, you know, value values, and 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 a world in which self esteem is getting a ribbon, it's not real achievement, and in a world in which we don't believe people have free will and they're de determined by the environment or determined by their genes, in a world in which we tell everybody, don't worry, the government will take care of you. Surprise, surprise, people don't have the self-esteem to take control of their old life. And one aspect of that, one manifestation for that is they die young. They die young. You know, it's, it goes back to that great line from Shawshank Redemption. Get busy living or get busy dying. And uh, a big chunk of America is busy dying. And um, politically, look where they are. And, and that's... That it tells you something about the modern Republican Party. It's a party that is dominated by people who are busy dying. Not, not good. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.